Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Dave. And J-Webb. And today we're reviewing The Dark Knight Rises, starring Christian Bale, Anne Hathaway, and Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Now, will The Dark Knight actually rise, or is this the fall of Batman? Find out next on The Vegas Dirt. Welcome back to the Vegas Dirt. First off, our thoughts are with the families of the victims of the horrific tragedy that took place in Aurora, Colorado, when a gunman unleashed on an unsuspecting theater just 15 minutes into the Dark Knight Rises midnight premiere. Now, Dave, I know you love movies, Batman, and Colorado, so this has been kind of hard for you. I mean, I'm from Colorado, so of course this is going to hit home for me. It just sucks that these guys attacked on such an anticipated event people were so hyped up to see it you know they waited in line and whatever and then to have it turn out the way it did is just is just heartbreaking so no easy way to jump into the storyline but we're gonna do our best uh, despite his tarnished reputation after the events of the dark knight in which he took the rap for harvey dent's crimes batman feels compelled to intervene to assist the city and its police force, which is struggling to cope with Bane's plans to destroy Gotham City. Now, Dave, what are your thoughts on the movie? I know you were really anticipating this release. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Highly anticipated. Not only do we get Bane, but we get Catwoman in the mix with Anne Hathaway. Yeah. And uh, so not only does he have this sinister, diabolical fiend on the loose, but he has this cat burglar running around stealing <laughs> pearl necklaces and whatnot. Who brings the sex appeal, of course. Yes, the sex appeal is definitely at a higher level. And a lot of people are going to compare this movie to The Dark Knight because of how much hype and buzz that had and you know what I'd like this movie but it just didn't do it for me as much as I was hoping it would have now I thought Joseph Gordon-Levitt was good but Christian Bale just doesn't do anything for me Anne Hathaway she doesn't disappoint at all but I didn't leave the theater going wow that's a new step in her career at all you know I completely agree with you I was hoping to feel more like a kid that just walked out of his favorite movie highly anticipated and just all of his thoughts and anticipations and prayers have been answered but I walked out of there good thing that it ended the way it did because if it not ended that way I would have been very disappointed and I'll get to that first I want to say it does kind of drag out a bit but it does build suspense which is good it's not that it's a long movie but it's a long movie it's two hours and 40 minutes definitely a couple words of advice would be bring snacks or buy snacks wink wink and uh definitely wait until what seems like the longest prison scene in the history of movies to make a run for the bathroom that is your key it takes too long at that point you're not missing anything and uh, if i had to put a breaking point in it that would be it i hate saying this but i think it goes back to if you're a comic book fan you'll appreciate the story being fulfilled uh but if you're not if you're just like batman's cool and that's the end of it for you it's a little bit long dave i i would agree with you um one thing I enjoyed about this movie, though, is the dynamic between Batman and Catwoman. Yeah. I don't want to say too much because there's a lot of... And we were told not to say too much. We were told not to say. <laughs> but, you know, there is some dynamics that you wouldn't really anticipate because it's supposed to be bad guy, good guy kind yeah. of thing going on. Um, there's a gray area there. There's gray there, area. There are possibly and... 50 shades of gray there. <laughs> <laughs> Waka waka. <laughs> but, uh, you know, definitely go see the movie. Go see what's up. Uh, the dynamic is good. Um, and I, 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 can't give, I can't give too much away here. I know. Uh, well, since you're edging towards it, are you going to give it a thumbs up? Or what's your verdict? I'm giving it a thumbs up. Even though it didn't give me as much of a bang as I want it to, the ending, thank God for that. Yeah. Which brings me into my verdict. I say the last 20 minutes should have been the whole movie. It should have been a really long trailer that prefaces the next movie and you would have had everything you need to know in the last 20 minutes you're gonna love it if you're a batman fan you're gonna be like what we all looked at each other there was like 50 uber nerds there and me and we we're all like what and it was crazy so thumbs up for me but again wait for the drawn out prison scene to pee and definitely buy the large popcorn right dave that's right and j what did it make you go at the end how did it make you react what <laughs> <laughs> 